praise the name of the Lord God bless you in Jesus mighty name I'm excited to come your way with God's word and the prophetic I'm excited to come your way with prayers I'm excited to come your way with this defining word for somebody here if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Samuel E. Molombe I am the man that God uses welcome in Jesus mighty name Thank you to all our subscribers. Thank you to all our members. You are amazing. God bless you. So the Lord is saying they admire you. They love you. And they truly care for you. But they are pretending that they don't. They love you. They admire you. They care for you deeply. But they are pretending that they don't. Can we pray? Father, thank you for your word in my mouth and I pray that you minister life to my hearers. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to deliver the word just as I've received it. And I pray for understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's always a privilege for me to share the word of God. You see, I'm just smiling. I'm just excited because I believe entirely in what God can do in your life by this word. So the Lord just stirred me up and, and began to tell me that there's somebody in your world that truly admires you. There's somebody in your world that truly loves you, cares about you genuinely, but they have a carefree attitude that they are putting up just to show you that they don't really care. I don't know why they are doing that. Um, many people have different reasons why they do some certain things, but this is a confirmation that they care. You're worried. Maybe you have reached out to someone and, and you are expecting them to respond in a certain way. And, and you, you're thinking that, you know what, I should call this a quit. I should just, you know, pack my bags and, you know, um, do something else with my life. And this prophetic word is coming to let you know that God is showing you that truly they care. They care about you. They care about uh, um, you so deeply. You shouldn't give up. I'm also speaking this prophetic word because there is somebody that is about, I don't know what this is all about, but there is an attack. There's an attack. There's a demonic attack on your marriage or maybe on your job or maybe on your company. And, and, and these people truly love and value you, but you are not getting that feeling, that vibe from them like they do. So you're feeling like you're in the wrong entourage, you're feeling like you're in the wrong place and you want to take your step you want to move out of that place well god says they do they're pretending they don't but they truly do and sometimes it is an attack it's an attack of the enemy to make you lose your focus where god wants you to be to displace you from where god wants you to be there are times when the enemy closes your eyes from seeing the love that exists around you so that you can fall into his trap the bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil because yeah he has many devices many vices he comes to you in many ways he wants to do one thing kill you steal from you destroy you so he comes by showing you that people around you don't care or maybe that you are in danger you don't ask, you, you, you're asking yourself why am i in danger you just feel all of a sudden that you're in danger that's an attack it's an attack. And sometimes you feel like your mom doesn't like you, your brother doesn't like you, your sister doesn't like you, you are all alone in this world, and you plunge into depression and you begin to cry. Those who are for you and those who love you, are they outnumber your enemies. You see, the devil threw a third of the angels in heaven, but it was just a third. There are two thirds that are still there. Those who are for you at every point in time always outnumber those who are not. You should seek peace in that. You should understand that God loves you. Um, a story comes to mind. You know, um, the man Elijah, the prophet Elijah, he goes to God and says, You know, Lord, I'm the only one left here. Ahab and his wife have killed everybody. I'm the only genuine prophet that is left. I was surprised to hear God respond to that. The Lord says, son, you are not the only one that is there. There are a thousand who have not bowed their knees to buy. Wow. So there is always a remnant who love you. There is always a remnant who celebrate you. 
There is always a remnant that see your value. There is always a remnant that understand how important you are. Don't give up. Do not give up. The Lord says sometimes they just pretend that you're going to be okay. I declare the Lord bless you, keep you, and cause his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you in Jesus' name. Do you see this word with gladness? Shalom.